My name's Elizabeth Keith. My father was Kenneth Stanbank. The family came, my grandfather came here in 1857 from England. Well, the castle was used as a, it was a home, a family home, and the, the farm was 1,200 acres in extent. My grandfather bought it in, in sections. It was only in 1882 that he started to build this house. He got two stonemasons from Aberdeen in Scotland, and they took three years to build with the local labour. Then he started to buy the land on the south bank of the Mkhafsana River. At the area at that time was called in Dublin Kulu, and it was said in the early days that Shaka had a cattle crawl here. It, it was his warriors used it when they took cattle from tribes further south. It was one of the places they stopped on the way back to Zululand. My father found two big stones on the banks of a stream, and he brought them up and they on uh, next to big gates between the buildings because they've got deep grooves, looks as if they used them for sharpening their assegars. They've always been the indigenous buck here, the uh, bush buck and the red darker and the little petty, the blue darker. And there were a few grey darker. And then the Natal Parks Board, who, who started to administer the reserve, brought the zebras and the impala. And there are all sorts of other small animals, you know, jets and, and, um, and, and mongoose, different mongoose, and legawans and those, those sort of creatures, and lots of birds. In the reserve, they've got picnic areas set, for, set aside for people. There's a handicap trail, which is very good, actually, and even blind people can use it. Well, the entrance hall looks quite similar to his um, parents' home in England from photos we've seen. Then there's the big dining room, which is a big room, and it got a very big table. All the old furniture, all the big heavy old furniture came from England. Then along the passage, there's a mural painted on the wall, which shows, depicts the early history of the family. Then there's a drawing room, and the, 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 the drawing room in the library have got beautiful ceilings. It's all Oregon pine. It's put together like a jigsaw puzzle. And in the drawing room, there's a tapestry of Salisbury Cathedral done by great, great aunts in, in England, because his family never came here. Only he and his brother were here. And the library is the next room, and it's got a large collection of the punch, which is that cartoon book, cartoon book that goes back to about 1840-something. And there are lots of old books there. And the fireplace we used to use in the winter because if it was cold, the house being stone was cold and we'd sometimes have supper. Then there comes the, the bedroom, main bedroom. And he was very modern because he, he had basins installed in the bedroom, and which are tip-up basins. And then opposite the bathroom, there's another bedroom. We started to take people on tours of the house and charging for that, give them tea and scones. And the garden can be hired for weddings or, or any special function. So all of that brings in the little, I mean, obviously not enough, but it helps.